Welcome to Daily Reading the Word for July 3rd. I'm Jonathan Kienzler. Today's reading is found in 2 Chronicles chapters 26, 27, and 28, as well as Acts chapter 8, verses 26 to 40. I've entitled today's devotion, Avoid Falling While Strong. We pick up the story in 2 Chronicles chapters 26, chapter 26, verse 16. Let's read together. But when he became strong, his heart was so proud that he acted corruptly, and he was unfaithful to the Lord his God, for he entered the temple of the Lord to burn incense on the altar of incense. Well, it's really important to see the, the context. Uh, a number of verses help us to, to understand the heights to which Uzziah had risen. Um, we know in, for example, Isaiah was a friend of, of Uzziah. Uh, Uzziah mostly followed the Lord. His reign is characterized as one in which he devoted himself to, to the Lord. Um, and in verse 4 of chapter 26, we read, As long as he sought the Lord, God prospered him. And that's an important principle for us as well. We will prosper as long as we seek the Lord. But what's the, the converse? If we turn from the Lord, God will not continue to prosper us. In varying ways, he will bring us down. Why? Because he cares about us. He loves us. Just like the prodigal son was allowed to go away, and at first things were good. But then he fell into many sorrows. Uh, and even ending up in the pig pen and wishes he wished he could eat the food of the pigs. That's eventually where going away from God leads us as well. Well, in Uzziah's case, we see that he had great military triumphs. He built strong forti fortifications, and he developed an elite, well-equipped army. In chapter 26, verse 15, it says, In Jerusalem he made engines of war, invented by skillful men to be on the towers and on the corners for the purpose of shooting arrows and great stones. And that's really quite, a, quite a, an awesome thing going back 2,700, 2,800 years ago. We have this king who had even a king in, in Judah who was so strong and powerful and had even... Um, these quite amazing weapons of war. And it was done because God helped him. And that's the, the verse at the end of verse 15. Hence his fame spread afar, for he was marvelously helped until he was strong. But then when, where we are in our verse, our main verse, verse 15, but when he became strong. Uh, in his strength, Uzziah became arrogant. He thought he could do no wrong and disregarded God's commands. And we see that he enters the, the Holy of Holies, and that's where the altar of incense is. And he burns incense there that only the priests were to take care of, only the priests were to burn. We see that in Exodus chapter 30, verses 1 to 10. And so he, he shows great um, a lack of, of humility, a lack of submission. He usurps a place that didn't belong to him. He felt like he didn't need anybody else. He doesn't need the priest. He can do it himself, and yet God had set it up that way. Uh, we need other people. We can't take the place of others, that God has gifted other people uh, to have the role. We need fathers and mothers. We can't just decide, a, a kid can't say, I'm going to be the father today. That doesn't make any sense. And a person can say, I'm going to be a pastor today. Well, has God equipped you and has God um, called you to that? And has God let other people know that he's given you this calling? It should, the people of God should affirm that as well. It would be also similar in this in terms of taking the high priest role. It would be like us, us usurping Jesus role. Uh, in terms of whether that would mean in judgment, um, whether that would mean in, I don't need God's word. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm close enough to God. I can make decisions for myself. Well, again, we're, we've seen over and over again, that's the deception of the enemy going back even to Adam and Eve, disregarding God's word. Where does it lead? It leads to death. And in this case, it leads to a terrible punishment uh, of leprosy even coming upon Uzziah. So he becomes unclean even to the day of his, of his death. So we see um, a few principles here that we need humility. We need to live in God's grace and dependence on him. 
We need to understand our own limitations and our weaknesses. If we're prone to, um, for, to want superiority or to want a, a, a more in terms of amb we want to be ambitious and so on, we need to be careful because it's only in trust and only in Christ that we stand. And it's actually, again, it's in humility that we stand. If we will humble, humble ourselves, he will raise us up. But if we exalt ourselves, we will be humbled. And then we also need to be accountable to others. We're not, we're not an island in ourselves. We need one another. So uh, Jeremiah 17, 9 asks, and, and really and lets us know, do we understand how our heart is more dece deceitful than all else? Jeremiah 17, 9, that it, it says the heart is desperately sick. Who can understand it? Um, but as we seek to move ahead in God's victory and strength, we need to make sure that we keep pride out of our lives. Even the Apostle Paul dealt with that. Second Corinthians chapter 12, 7 to 10. We see that God gave him a messenger of Satan, a, a thorn in the flesh, so that actually he would not fall to, to pride. We want to make sure we're not carried away with our own lusts and ambitions. We want, we're not trying to build our own kingdom. We're trying to build his. So look at what God has given us. He's given us his word, his spirit, and his people. Let's not take them for granted, but daily be in them. Be, daily be part of them, praying for them, daily fellowshipping with them. I tell you, could there be any greater blessing than the spirit? We... Um, can commune with him and with his word, know his will. Are you making use of the gifts that God has given us so that we can stand in right relationship and walk in his ways? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you, the Lord, for the example of Uzziah, that though you raised him up when he forgot you, he acted in ways that were wicked. But Lord, you you disciplined him so that he could actually return back to you. And you do that for us as well. But help us, Lord, to walk in humility, to learn from our mistakes, to recognize our weaknesses. And Lord, to always remain in your word, to uh, appreciate the presence of the Spirit and your people. And I thank you, Lord, that you are always faithful, you're merciful, and you give us second chances as well. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.